Let's go back out to St. Louis and Bush Stadium, and FP is going to join us uh, for a couple of minutes. Any ball hit to the infield, whether it's Espinosa at second base, Desmond at shortstop, Rendon at third, or LaRoche at first, the defense for these guys, FP, has been outstanding all season long, including tonight. Well, yeah, I mean, number one, they're good, Johnny. Number two, when you have pitchers throwing strikes and pounding the strike zone, working fast like these guys have, you're on your toes. You're ready for the baseball. But when you talk about Jordan Zimmerman tonight, 76 pitches, that's the least amount of pitches a Nats pitcher's ever had for a complete game. And he's the first Nats pitcher to throw back-to-back -back complete games in their history. So a uh, historic performance, if you will, from Jordan tonight, wasted because Lance Lynn was just that good. And you, know, you don't want to make excuses, but the Nats got in late last night. And I saw a lot of long, tired swings and you know, don't want to take anything away from Lance Lynn, even though I just did. But I mean, I saw some underwater swings tonight, and you haven't seen that throughout the trip. But what was really fascinating to me is the plays they made behind Jordan tonight. I mean, he was pounding the strike zone, and these guys have been fantastic all season long. I mean, Anthony Rendon, as good as anybody at third base, I'm sorry, I'll put him up against anybody. You see the in-between hops, the glove work, the footwork, the, the arm as strong as any third baseman in baseball. And when you got Adam LaRoche on the backside, you know you don't have to panic. He's going to pick you up. So double plays, great plays, LaRoche doing his thing. And in line to win another gold glove, in my opinion, just because of the errors and the runs he saved. And how good is the right side of the infield, Ben, with Danny Espinosa, as good as any second baseman in baseball. And this play, guys, look at that. I mean, he's almost on the shortstop side of second base on the run in between hops. So there was some great plays tonight. There just wasn't a whole lot of offense, and hopefully they sleep fast tonight and sleep well tonight and go ahead and get the Cardinals tomorrow. But they got to try to break this whole Cardinal jinx, and then if they do that, then it's on to the, the Astros first, with all due respect, and then the Atlanta Braves. Well, FP, as a player, and you've been through this yourself, is it a situation where uh, jumping the time zone is, 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 is one thing, but being in a, in a game like this where the starting pitch for the other team has been so sharp all night long, is just one night's sleep, is, is one day off or one, let's say, 12, 13 hours off, is that enough to re recharge the batteries? Well, you would hope so. And, you, you know, you think about it. The, the Nats played against the A's, and they came home, and, and they laid an egg in the first game home. When you come back from the West Coast, it's a tough thing. So, yeah, they're in central time zone. And, you know, it, it, it matters. It really does. I've been through it. And just the way I feel personally, and I have to go hit 95. So, you know, you talk about jumping from time zone to time, East Coast, West Coast, central time zone. It takes its toll. It's not the reason they lost tonight, but it's definitely a factor. And I'll stand by that because I've lived it my whole life. Well, let me ask you one other thing about Jordan Zimmerman. He was terrific against the Padres. He was terrific against the Phillies. This may be one of his top two or three performances, I think, all season long. Well, yeah, I mean, he's coming off a historic performance in San Diego. 12 strikeouts, no walks, two hits by the Padres. He flirted with perfection and would not as sharp tonight, but when you talk about the lineup he was facing tonight, I mean, that's a pretty deep lineup. When you get down to John Jay in the eight hole hitting 318, I mean, there's some good hitters in the Cardinals lineup. And the one signature they've had throughout the years is a lot like the Nats right now. They're going to make you work. They're not going to swing at balls. They're going to swing at strikes all night. And, you know, that's a tough lineup to cut through. So, yeah, I mean, I'm in, Johnny. That was one of his better performances. And like Bob said, going off the air, I mean, odd that he had the complete game and Lance Lynn didn't, but he had to take. I don't even think tough luck loss is the right term for it. He just, he pitches as good as he can and that's baseball, I guess.